Doug Bell and this is the Hot Rod Show. We're down here at Muzzin Stand for the Shine Awards and we're going to see some amazing cars, man. They're going to be handing out trophies all sorts of people. This is Muzzin's, man. Muzzin just make everything perfect. Woo! -hoo. So I will announce the big one now. This is our Shine Award for 2015. Goes to... Well, I'll get this 34 road throughout, man. The paint on this thing. Hey, how you doing? I'm Doug from the Hot Rod Show. Hey, I saw you up at the Cadillac there. Yes, it's, that's fine. You, and, and this that's is... That's fine. Hey, here we go. I, I, I took I'm my hat for you. Guy. You're a car I'm guy, a car all right? Guy. Man, this, I, I looked at this a few times, you know, because we've been here in the nights, yeah. you know, and, and every, you can't not go past and not look at this thing, the man. The candy paint just oh, grabs you. Oh, it just explodes yeah. on it, doesn't it? Yeah. What, yeah. What, what sort of paint is it? Yeah, it's uh, House of Color. Yeah. And uh, John Kosmoski, the owner of uh, House of Color, built this car, and I bought it from him. Yeah. It, 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 like for your collection? Yes. Uh, how many? What did? How many cars do you have in your collection? With this one, forty. Forty. What? What are some of the some of them that you have? Oh, I got a '68 Shelby uh, GT350. Yeah. Uh, I've got a '32 five window coupe. Yeah. That's a killer. Yeah. Well, you got both ends of the spectrum there. Uh, well, I've got. I, I like to go on both sides. Yeah. Uh, the Cadillac was my first real. Custom. It, I, I sat in it. I, I hope you don't mind, I but I sat in it. I, saw oh, it I loved it. Eh? A little hard to get oh, into. Oh, a little. <laughs> it was a little hard to get out of. Well, because, once you're in, oh, what do you it, think? Oh my God! You sat pretty good. I, I sat good. I sat good, man. Yeah. It was the height was good. It's I, perfect. As people walked by, I saw the part of their body <laughs> I wanted to see. You know, who cares about <laughs> hair up? I love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, anyways, um, uh, yeah, yeah. This uh, beautiful car has got an LS engine in it. Yeah. Uh, Nine-inch Ford rear. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just done to the nines. That it is. The guy yeah. did a great job. Well, done to a T. Yeah. And actually, the car came into uh, my booth here. Yeah. Uh, we can sign, buy, sell custom cars. Oh, is this your booth? Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, I saw the car and I said, uh, we're consigning that to my partner. And he said, yeah. And I said, no, I'm buying that yeah. car. Yeah. Well. Anyways. But uh, what, what, what would a car like that worth? You know, a ballpark. Don't give the exact figure uh, if you don't want it. To build that car would be about 300000 Yeah. I paid half that. Oh, that all? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. You got a steel deal. I got a deal. Beautiful wow. car. Yeah. Jerry, hey. thanks so much, man. Good to see you yeah, again. You too. Take yeah. care. Hey. Are we going to meet again? Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> Good. <laughs> see you, man. Okay. As Siskel and Ebert used to say, two thumbs up. There you go. It's. Yeah. I love the luster, you know? Yeah. The paint sits about a half an inch above the body. Oh, it, it's, it just kills you. It's like a, and look at the, look at the last of dash, you know? Ah, oh, he did a number, all right. And this is a special roadster. Yes. It's called a 33 Speedster. Okay. And it's like the Dearborn Deuce, uh -huh. where the top holds yeah, down. Yeah. Yeah, Underneath. right, and, and inside it? Yeah. Oh, right, so it's, it's something, oh, it lifts up. Yeah, and you can take this down a road and it's yeah. airtight, watertight. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's a three hundred thousand dollar car. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I I hope you enjoyed driving it. <laughs>
about making a car look good, you know, like with taking care of the paint job and that. But with all the other judges, you know, like do they have special areas that they you know, that they're very talented in? You know, to, that that gives them what what might you say the ability, you know, to judge a car. Well, I guess that's where we're lucky because we've got a cross reference of people. In other yeah. words, we've got a body guy, a body guy, okay. body guy, yeah. as in that does uh, metal forming. Yes, can work with his hands, yeah. roll metal, yeah. make things, through to a, a paint guy. Uh, who, of course, can also do body work, but his uh, expertise is paint. paint yeah. So he looks with a fairly critical eye at how the preparation, yeah. paint laying, polishing, buffing, etc., yeah. etc. Et We've got people who have built hot rods, built the world's best hot rods, mm. and have won big awards. Yes. And, and even though they may get someone to build it, they start to get they, an eye at what's good and what's not. What's good. Yeah. 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 So collectively, we go out there, and of course, the biggest thing is you'll have a different concept yeah. of what's good and maybe what's not. Yeah. Uh, what you like personally and what you don't like. Yeah, well, everybody sees blue sky in a different shade anyway, don't they? Oh, exactly. Yeah. So, so you end up, you know, doing a, a judging system where you're throwing a number at it. Yeah. yeah. And then you get another set of judges who will go, well, I think that's better than that. Yeah. And then you'll start discussing and pulling it to bits. And, and then, then you start to reach a, an ultimatum. Yeah, and not yeah. always. Sometimes you might say, wow, that paint job looks awesome. You know, yeah. that's amazing. I love it. And then, then a paint guy will say, well, yes, if you look over here, yeah. you'll see some shading or. Yeah. This is judged on every single vehicle that is here at the SEMA show. That is whether it's a feature vehicle, whether it's a booth vehicle, whether it's inside, whether it's outside in the rain today, we're judging all those cars we judged yesterday though. We're going through every single one of those cars. It doesn't matter what it is, if it's here, we're gonna judge it. If you've entered, we're gonna for sure judge it. So we took every single car into consideration. There's a variety of categories. It's definitely a moving target. Uh, we try to reflect the trends, not so much the trendy, but the direction that the market is going. We judge on a variety of tons of elements, uh, everything from fit and finish. Um, this Shine Award honors uncompromising excellence in vehicle design and is decided upon by an impartial third party international panel of respected members from all facets of the automotive industry. Finnish experts, some of the finest builders, seasoned hobbyists, and past winners. The judging is based on overall appearance, attention to detail, integration of custom and stock elements, quality of paint finish, creative vision, and execution of concept. Doesn't matter what products are used on these cars, doesn't matter what car care companies they're with, what location they're on the show, inside or outside. If it's on display here at the show, it will be considered and reviewed by our judges. And with that in mind, I wanted to take a moment and acknowledge our judges. These are all volunteer judges. They stay up all night. They're very respected. These guys judge on a level. I've learned so much working with them. They judge on a level that is, it's unparalleled. I've seen Riddler winners. I've seen Amber winners get deducted points based on a very serious, very intense judging criteria. So these guys go to great lengths to make sure that the Shine Award is a very, very honorable one. Our first award winner is 1972 Chevrolet Corvette. Congratulations to the guys from Alloy, George and Kathy Langs. It's 1972 Chevrolet Corvette. It's George, the owner. Congratulations, George. This car is amazing. This is an 18-month project. It's got a ZL1 aluminum 427. Um, it's got Tronic 5 speeds hanging on an Art Morrison chassis. If you actually look at the car, it doesn't look like the body's been modified very wildly, but the nose has been stretched three inches. The front axle was narrowed two inches. The windshield's out of a 74 Corvette. They leaned the windshield over to match the hood, extended the hood to come into that. So many tiny, subtle things done to this car. Keep in mind, this car's done with fiberglass. It's amazing job. Congratulations to George and Bobby and everyone. Everyone at Alloways. As we move on to our next winner, this is a 1969 Ford Mustang done by Goolsby Customs. Tim and Sissy Spencer, are you guys here? There's the guys from Goolsby's. This was an amazing car. If you guys have seen this one, it's in the Arlo booth, right over there. 
This car was an incredible build. The judges spent a lot of time going over this one. But if you look at this car again, it looks like a 19, you know, standard 69 Mustang, but if you really look closely at all the details, everything's been stretched, the bumpers have been pulled. Really, really impressive work here. If you see all the details, even the finish work on the details that they did, very, very impressive. This has got a five liter Coyote engine with a six speed get rag, advanced plating, did all the plating on it. Detroit Speed chassis, front and rear, bare brakes, JRI shocks, Eminem did the upholstery, so very, very impressive. You can see that all the accent panels, there's no tape lines, it's just subtle. <laughs> strips and everything in the 50s and 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and even into the 2000s. Look at this thing. This is just immaculate. It's, hey, but before I get more into it, here's Ian. Hey, Ian, come on over here, man. If any of you folks don't know Ian, Ian's, Ian's a Kiwi, and he's been over here judging all the mother's cars, man. What an honour, Ian, to, to be a judge for mothers, eh? How about that? Yeah, it is. It's a great pleasure to be a judge for the Shine Award. Yeah, because, like, how long have you been doing that? Uh, I've been, been doing it six, seven years now. Really? And, and you're building a car yourself too, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah. And, and you have that 59 Ford retract? Oh, that is orgasm, man. That is, well, it's called orgasm, isn't it? Yeah. Now, hey, Ian, would you like to tell us a little bit about the Swillies? You know, not, not that it's your car, but, you know, wh yeah. what's your take on this? Oh, this is just a, a true traditional rebuild of a, of a classic gasser. Yeah. It's a um, single barrel jack. It's yeah. a 42 all steel Willys coupe. Oh, yeah. Running a 392 Hemi. Yeah. Uh, it's got a Hillborn injection. It's just, it's just the real iconic take isn't, isn't on it? a real classical it, gas the stance everything i mean yeah. ev like everything about this just just eats history yeah. doesn't it you've only got to look at the vehicle yeah uh, this is a bit about to ready to hit the strip is it, uh, is it? yeah okay. it is. it's a, a road legal gasser that um has been uh, built by uh rod shop uh humbro customs um and it's just it says everything about the 60s yeah uh, so yeah it's going to be really exciting to see this I mean, get down wouldn't this you love one of these in your garage oh, yeah hey heaven oh man yeah. You, you, you'd almost reach the top when you got one of these things, eh? Yeah. I mean, it, it's, yeah, it, it's, it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's a something I've got a mate down in Christchurch, Harry, he's got a whole bunch of willies. It, it's a something that he'd like. But this is just, when we saw this, just like, you know, it, it would just stop everyone in their tracks, you know? Yeah, it is certainly, it's certainly grabbing the people because yeah. it looks so good and it looks traditional. I mean, I think this is the only one here like it, isn't it? It is, yep. yeah. And, and that, like, to be at SEMA, be, be one of the only cars at SEMA like this, you know, it's incredible. Like, the, the, the paint, you know, the paint on this, it's PPG yeah, yeah. paint. <clears throat> it's wearing PPG paint. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, the, the whole thing is, is being built, uh, as I said before, to, to the traditional styles. Yeah. Uh, and, and Canberra Speed Shop built it. Um, the owner is James Bostix, yeah. um, and he, he should be really proud of this, yeah. and, and he's going to really enjoy yeah. getting this on the strip. Yeah. Oh, man. You, I love it, hey. It's, my, my mind is just scrambled from all the beautiful cars, you know, that, that we've been seeing here all the time, you know. It's, it's, it's just kind of hard to, you know, to put them all in the memory disc, you know. Yeah, I, well, I think if I have to remember much about another car, I'd have to forget my wife's name, you know. Yeah, that's right. Well, SEMA does that, you know. All, all the best comes yeah. out at SEMA. Uh, it oozes out, hey. Yeah. Wow, and, and you're having a good time here. Have you seen some tricks that, that, that you oh, like? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen yeah. Some, some pretty special uh, yeah. uh, tricks that people have done, and, and the designers, yeah. uh, you know, they, they just take it to the next level. But you're working on the year. car to bring up here? Yeah, I am. Yep. Yeah, and what is it? It's a 68 Plymouth GTX. Yeah, well, we're going to have a look at that back when we get back to New Zealand. Yes, we will. Oh, yep. man, we've got to get some footage of that, eh? Yeah. This is just, oh, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. You're dead right, Doug. Yeah, it's cool. Ian, hey, thank you, man. Hey, hey, and say good day to all the folk back in New Zealand. Yeah. Here's the camera. How are you? How are you, people? Yeah. I hope you're enjoying this because uh, it is once in a lifetime. And if you get a chance, yeah. make sure if you're in the US, mm. get to SEMA. First yeah. week in November, yeah. it is always a, um, a pleasure to come to. Yeah. And you will get your socks blown off. Yeah. And, and, it's, and it's like almost middle of winter and everyone's in T-shirts and so forth. It's just couldn't be better. Oh, yeah. Snow on the hills up there this morning. Yeah. yeah. Cool, eh? Yeah. So, okay, Ian. Thank you so much, man. It's good to chat up with you here, but...
followed this build personally for some time. This car is incredible. Uh, I'm somewhat of the import representative here at uh, Brothers, and I've been pushing for import to be represented in such a way, and to be honest, it's been challenging. The import guys are having a hard time keeping up with the hot rod guys. They have many more years on our guys, but Ryan truly stepped it up this year with this car. Uh, purists in the import world might want to kind of punch Ryan in the throat a little bit for using a Type R, but this was actually a, a beaten down shell. This is a real Japanese domestic market Type R that he brought in from, that he found and had it restored. But if you look at the steering wheel on this one, this is actually a custom paddle shift transmission. I want to say, uh, who did the uh, transmissions? Is it Brave Sequential? Yep. We used a Motec M1 to control the shifts, and I kind of created my own uh, air actuation system with a air compressor, accumulator, um, everything's like kind of one off, and we source a lot of stuff. Yeah, we do a lot of like motorsport, high end. So F1 technology and Honda Integra, congratulations to Ryan Baseri, well earned. Moving on to our next winner. This is a 1970 Chevelle SS, built by Kyle Tucker and his crew of Detroit Street. Is Kyle here? Kyle is here, here he comes. Congratulations, it's beautifully done in all the black. Uh, I believe the build took uh, two and a half years. It's a two and a half year build process. So much work into this car. I believe the uh, engine is a Mass Motorsports 427 cubic inch. So this car is going to do some damage on the. Is this an optimal car? Will this be an optimal car? Possibly an optimal car. So amazing work by Kyle and the crew. Congratulations to Kyle and his team at Detroit Speed. And moving on to our next award winner. This is a 2011 Ford F350 Super Duty, owned by Charles and Ashley Otwell. And this was built by Innovative Auto Works. Congratulations, guys. Are you guys here, Charles and Ashley? This was actually built, this is outside the South Hall. This is actually built as a tribute car. I'm really proud of Charles for this one. This was built as a tribute car to his brother, Billy Ray Otwell. He was struck and killed by a drunk driver 21 years ago. And if you look at the build, if you look at the paint on the exterior of the vehicle, it's actually done the same color as Billy Ray's, uh, I want to say it was Yamaha Banshee he had, was his Banshee. This build, if you look at the suspension on the build and the undercarriage on the build, uh, I believe there's seven miles of welding wire that is used in this vehicle, so unbelievable. It was uh, built over four months, 3,000 hours into this, into this vehicle. It's a 6.7 liter power stroke underneath. Congratulations again, guys. Moving on to our next winner. Our next Choice Award winner goes to Northern Bell. This is a 1966 Plymouth Belvedere, owned by David Meyer and built by Troy Trepanier and his crew at Rad Rides by Troy. Come on, Troy, there he is. This car, I'm not sure why when I first saw this car, but it's in the Turbonetics booth, and I don't know if the Turbonetics guys know, but this car, it had a parachute on it. Troy tells us it was built for Drag Week, but I look at this car, and it doesn't have a turbo on it. So I'm wondering why Turbonetics would put it in their booth. Talked to some of the reps from Turbonetics. They said it was the most talked about vehicle that they've had in some 37 years. Jim, I think they've been displaying here. They're 37 years they've been displaying here. And there's no turbo on it. And when we took the air filter off, there's no carburetors on it either because the it's electronic fuel injection that's hidden behind the manifold. The turbos are set down back underneath the trunk. It's the most amazing thing. This is probably the ultimate sleeper that I've ever seen. The wheels, the steelies, are not even steelies. They're, they're 18 eighths in the back. They're actually built specialties aluminum wheels. Um, this thing is incredible. Everything on this car is taken to immense detail. Not to mention that this is a drag week legal car that could possibly run eights. And I wanted to be a smart aleck and ask Troy, well, don't you know that if you put the turbos in the back, why, you know, you're not going to have some turbo lag. And Troy's deadpan response to me was, it's a 526 cubic inch in black motor. I think there's enough throttle to sort of keep the car spooled up before the turbo gets to it. <laughs> Well, no.
Samoan car builder, and we have one of the cars that he's worked on right here. And it's just like, it, you know, it's one of these creations that you just go, oh my God, look at that. How can someone have built something like that? But you, you've worked on this car, you know, but, you know, explain to the people out there, you know, you, you're a well-known car builder, you know, and you're, you're, you can build cars that are equal to anything that is here. That's why you're a judge, you know? It, well, you, would, you couldn't be a judge if you couldn't build the same sort of stuff. No, well, I come from pretty, um, pretty uh, deep heritage in judging because I've, I've designed a lot of the judging systems in Australia. Really? And, and uh, I was chief national steward there in my early days. Yeah. I've, um, I, I actually evolved from judging from in, in reverse. So I was a judge before I was a builder. Yeah. Because I didn't have the facilities, so I learned a lot from the, from the best that yeah. way. Reverse engineering my uh, build quality is pretty much what yeah. how it will come about, and uh, the streamliner that's yes. um, that's an original um, 1958 Jocko streamliner, which was the first streamlined dragster ever built in America. Norm Longfield that owns it, he bought that uh, about 18 years ago, mm. and about um, you know 17 years ago, I repainted it and we used you know candy reds and white pearls etc. Um, and he did the show circuit and did very well with yeah. it, did the drag racing yeah. with it, dialed the thing in. And then when uh, Eastern Creek in Australia was uh, you know, shut down for that period of time, we, uh, he had nowhere to race and you know, he's a hopeless addict. So uh, that he got invited to do a, a run at an airstrip at uh, Narra yeah. uh, to, at an air show against a uh, warplane. And uh, the turbulence in the warplane got under the car, he was winning. Really? But uh, yeah, it turned the car over and destroyed it. Oh. So, T totally destroyed it. Well, oh, but destroyed enough. enough. Destroyed yeah. enough that you know you, you'd have to put it uh, in the box trailer to deliver it. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, so we got it yeah. about three years ago, yeah. and um, there's probably only about ten, maybe fifteen percent of the original car left. Wow. And um, yeah, made it better than ever. So, yeah. What got you into this business? What What got you started? Well, I'm a I'm a spray painter from way back. Yeah. Um, I have no father influence. No, my family ever's yeah. been involved in vehicles. It's something obviously that was in my DNA. Yeah. And uh, from day one, um, I've you know as a school kid, I was yeah. going to be a custom van builder back yeah. then. But um, it's just evolved, and all I tell people is I'm a spray painter that yeah. uh, tries real hard. Yeah. Well, you try really good and you do really good stuff, man. Like War Horse was another car that you built. I mean, you know, we won't go into it, but you know, like in Australia, you're, 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 you're a big name, you know? Yeah, and I try. <laughs>
and you're like, that's a lot of hours. It's just the body. So, so much, so much fun for this car. This has got a 1953 Ford flathead. It's a 248 stroker, custom fuel injection, TKO trans. These are Curtis Speed one piece wheels. Look at the detail on the gas, the fuel filler right there. Beautiful, beautiful car. There's the flathead. I appreciate you guys putting the flathead in the field. It does, it does my heart good to see it, definitely. Congratulations, you guys. Congratulations on this build. Moving on, I want to announce our next winner. Our next winner is a 2016 Chevy Colorado. Who's there you now? Congratulations, congratulations, sir. This is an impressive build because if you guys are familiar with Roadster Shop, you know they do hot rods and they don't do pre runners They do an amazing amount of work on the fabrication on these vehicles. They go to great lengths to make these cars actually perform well. And Jeremy wanted to do that, but he said that a lot of these builds do fall short. Most of the builds you'll see are done in fiberglass. And to be honest, when we approached this car, we thought it was done in fiberglass, but they, it was done in all metal. So this is actually an all metal pre-runner. Jeremy and the team went to the measuring session with SEMA and measured this vehicle without having the vehicle and built the chassis based on their measurements. Now, if I were to do it like that, I don't think it would come out as precisely as they did, but they actually built the chassis and then hung the vehicle on top of it. The guys at Roadster Shop for this one. Moving on to our next Choice Award winner. This is the Mustang Rocket. This is a 2015 Ford Mustang with Alvin Autosports boot, owned by Bo Bachman and built by Ray Petrosi in the Alvin Autosports. Congratulations to Bo. This was a beautiful, beautiful car. We got out of chance. Wonderful car, Bo. Yeah. And he brought Henrik Fisker with him, no less. Oh my God, such an honor. We have Henrik Fisker. This is actually a true coachwork build. This is Henrik Fisker's Rocket. Bo Bachman's been supporting this car. I believe that this car will go into a limited run of production. Is that actually correct? Unbelievable. So you can own a Henry Fisker one-off original carbon fiber body, 725 horsepower. So we're going to have a Choice Award winner that you could actually buy a version of a Choice Award winner from Galpin too. Bo, can I get a discount on one of friends and family? I'm going to, okay, thank you. I'm going to hold you to that. So congratulations, you guys. Amazing, amazing work on this one. So I will announce the big one now here. This is our Shine Award for 2015. Goes to Goolsby Customs for the Mustang. The boys at Goolsby, congratulations, you guys. If you have a chance, please get over to the Armory and take a look at this thing. This one was awesome. I believe it's been selected as a... Uh, this is one of Ford Design Award also, too. Congratulations to the guys from Goldsby's. Jonathan and the team, Chris, and congratulations. This is actually going to be a driver, is that correct, sir? Unbelievable. With that, I want to thank everyone for coming out to the 2015 Shine Awards. On behalf of Mothers, my name is John Nadere. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone at Mothers for putting on this award. It's an amazing, amazing experience. Thank you. Thank you. That's amazing. Oh, I'm up there somewhere. Yeah, I'm not coming down. Yeah. We were in Mothers. I mean, it's a wild competition. Absolutely wild. Oh, there's no bigger. There's no bigger. You're right. Thank you. No, uh, the whole shop, everybody in the shop, everybody, no, it's not me, the whole shop. Thank you.